me to remodel an existing house than to go out and buy what you want in today's market. Now that's a story that we've seen with neighborhood stabilization in communities around the country. In fact, three quarters of the neighborhoods where we've made neighborhood stabilization investments, vacancies have gone down compared to surrounding neighborhoods. Two thirds of neighborhoods where we've made investments have seen their house prices go up. The assets of our first suburbs, the two primary ones, number one, are the residents and the people because they are excited and passionate about the communities that we live in. And the a second one really is our location. We, uh, for the most part, are in a situation where we have good highway access and we can get anywhere within our metropolitan area because of that good highway access. We're close to the outer suburbs. We also can get to downtown. Some of the challenges we face in a first suburb outside a major city like this is the fact that because of our age, we have aging housing as well. We have aging uh, commercial centers, strip malls, shopping centers, and those are things that we have to start taking a look at our infrastructure. Well, a lot of the problems that are faced in these older neighborhoods, especially the ones that were built after World War II, are that they were not built to help with any sort of energy efficiency at all. I mean, they were built to be fast homes to go up quickly um, for people to live in and for people that are coming back home from the war. And so you have a lot of um, issues facing just in what you normally do in an older housing site. The First Suburbs Coalition first began meeting in February of 2002. And it came about uh, from a move from a number of first suburb mayors from the Kansas side and the Missouri side that recognized that we all had unique challenges that were very common regardless of which state that we lived in. One of the success stories in our community has been the low income loans for redevelopment of housing. We've got, as I stated earlier, aging housing in my city and uh, a number of citizens of my community that have taken advantage of this loan program. It's a very, very low interest loan that's paid back on a, a very affordable basis. Small loan, but it really made a difference in their home. They, uh, I think it was about $7,500 that they were afforded through the loan program. They redeveloped an older house in our historic district here and it is a showpiece. They did it on a budget, but they did a tremendous job with the money and they came back to me uh, incredibly thankful for the fact that they had this available to them. It's definitely helped the neighborhood. The neighbors feel good about it. Um, we've been here long enough that we don't get many current comments, but in the day, all of them are really happy to see the improvement in this house. Replace the driveway, replace the garage slab, um, done some interior work here to help with the kitchen. Um, and lighten the burden in the day and let us go ahead and move forward with the project. So it's fun, no downside. It's a paying off loan. <laughs>Another idea that was brought forth for the First Suburbs Coalition was an idea book. Uh, an idea book especially catered to uh, the post-World War II homes, which many of our first-tier suburbs do have. These, uh, these homes are 60, 70 years old now, and they have seen their better days. And through the idea book, there were a number of things that came forth that we saw that uh, a number of our residents here were taking advantage of. We had a lot of volunteers. We had some subgroups that were then created. We had architects who donated time and came out with this great idea book because regardless of where you were in the first suburb range, we had a lot of post-World War II housing stock, which was really stable houses and well-built homes, but they didn't fit um, what a lot of people want today with amenities. I've caulked and sealed and insulated the the basement taped up 
seal the uh, ductwork. There's some intuitive stuff you can do without analysis. It's just no brainers. Let's see, I'm a nut on energy efficiency, and I think we need to do way more in America than we do. We're getting a lot of buyers that are coming in wanting to buy our product um, and the products in the neighborhoods because of where they're situated. You know, I really think that the people and the collaboration and working together and coming together with ideas uh, uh, has been very helpful and people have been willing to share their expertise with us, whether it's somebody from like the home builders or somebody from the residential real estate or commercial real estate groups on, in their perspectives, because it's important. Northgate is biggest success is uh, being able to kind of fulfill, I think the goals uh, most generally of North Kansas City. Uh, they set out to create a public-private partnership that would kind of change the face of the city. Uh, this 50 acres that we're sitting on here at Northgate uh, was garden-style apartments that were built in the 1950s that had become a little bit run down, a little bit blighted, and North Kansas City decided that they wanted to change that. The city really had the foresight and the vision uh, to understand that uh, they could affect change uh, within their own community um, they, and really as far as a the role they're the ones that set out the vision for the property. Uh, uh, this traditional neighborhood uh, packed right in the middle of a, uh, a vibrant city like North Kansas City uh, is different is exciting and uh, we, it's really a lifestyle uh, that many people have embraced and we're very excited about that. Even though we have, you know, what, five or six counties involved in two states with our first suburbs, you know, we've been able to be a cohesive group and I think we celebrate each other's successes. Uh, we encourage all others, not just governmental officials, but chambers of commerce, uh, I don't know, school districts can be a part of it as well too, but to me it's, it is, it's something that if we don't all band together, say if we could all put our heads together, we come together with collective and creative ideas. I think we go back home and we implement those ideas. I know we have here and it's made a huge difference in our community. So uh, if there are others out there thinking about uh, how they can improve their community, I think they could do uh, no better than sitting down at the same table with us uh, at the First Suburbs Coalition. While sometimes it may seem like slow going, when you turn around and look how far we've come and the wonderful improvements that we've made, to, for our communities and for our residents, it, it should help give the energy to propel us into the future. The price was right. Yeah, and Raytown, why not Raytown? <laughs>